Alright, here we go, dealing with Pythagoras' theorem in 3D space. Let's have a look at our first question here in depth. We've got find the length of the space diagonal in the cuboid to one decimal place. We've got this cuboid as you can see here, and we've got the space diagonal, which is diagonal across the space within the shape. So it's this pink line here. Now to find that length, we need to use knowledge we already have. Now we know quite well how to deal with 2D shapes. So we're going to use that knowledge and extract the 2D shapes to be able to work out the values. Now if we want this pink line, we can see here that if it goes down and across this green line, this plane is actually a 2D shape, which we can redraw out to look like this. Now we've got one of the lengths, we've got this side length here, which is 13 centimeters, but we haven't got this green length or this pink length. So in order to find the pink length, we're going to need to find the green length. To find the green length, we need to look at another side of the shape, or one of the other faces. So looking at this green length here, if it goes down and across again, we've actually got another right angle triangle. So let's draw that one out. And the reason why we're drawing it out, so it's easier for us to deal with and work with. We're after the length of this green line, and we don't know that yet but we do know the length of this line, because this one is here, it's six centimeters. And then the length of the bottom line is this length here, so it's 19 centimeters. So we can now use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of this green line. Our first step is to write down Pythagoras' formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Label our triangle, so the hypotenuse is always c, and then I'll label this right inside A and the bottom B. It doesn't matter which way around A and B are, as long as once you've decided, you stick to it. Substituting our values now, so we have 6 squared plus 19 squared equals C squared. If we have a calculator, we'll just work that out in one step. So we'll have 397 equals C squared. We need to get C on its own, but it's currently squared, so we need to do the inverse operation, which is square rooting, and we do that to both sides. So we'll have the square root of 397 equals c. Now I'm going to leave this in the form root 397, as it's a more accurate value than rounding a number. But as a quick check to make sure we've done it correctly, our numerical value is 19.924, or 19.925, to three decimal places. And looking at that, it looks about right. So we're going to assume we've done something correct, because it's not too far out. So we've now found the length of the green side, so we now need to find the length of this pink side. So we'll draw it out. Write the side lengths we do know on, so we've got 13 centimeters. This green length, which we've just worked out as root 397 centimeters. So now we've worked out the green length, we can work out this pink length. First step to work it out, we'll write Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Label the sides of the triangle, so we've got c, because that's hypotenuse, and then I'm going to call this A and this B. Substitute in our values, so we'll have 13 squared plus root 397 squared equals C squared. Expanding them, we'll have 169 plus 397 equals C squared. Add them together, that'll give us 566 equals C squared. To get C on its own, we do the inverse of squaring C, so we square root it, but whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, so we square root both sides. So root 566 equals C. Pop that in your calculator, it'll give you an answer of 23.79075451, etc. So our final answer for this question will be C equals 23.8 centimeters to one decimal place. Our second question looks a little bit trickier, but it's the exact same process. I'm showing it in this format because you may come across it like this. It says find the length of CE. So we've got C, E. So that's this pink line here. It's in a 3D space. We can't calculate it in the form it is currently. If we extract this though, as part of the 2D shape, the right angle triangle, which we can see here, we'll draw that out. We'll fill in the information we do know so far. We don't know anything about this pink line here. We don't know the length of this orange line here, though we will be able to find that in a moment. But we do know the length of this, 
And the reason being, if we have a look around, because it's a cuboid, this must be the same length. So we've got four meters. So now in order to find this pink line, we need to find the value of this orange line. Well, there's two ways we could draw out the shape. We can see it's on a flat plane, which makes it really nice for us. We've got this orange line that goes from E to G, then let's say from G to H, then H to E. It's a right angle there. That's one way you can draw it. We can also use the triangle on the other side, which is the same, but just flipped from G to E to F back to G. And there's another right angle triangle. I'm actually going to use that one and draw it out here. If we have a look to find this side here, that's this side length, which is the same as this side length as well. So eight meters. Then we need to find this side length, which is the same as this side length, this side length, and this side length. So it must be five meters. So let's find this side length E, G. Firstly, I'm gonna write up Pythagoras' formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Label our triangle, so we've got C, because that's always the hypotenuse, and then I'll call this A and this B. Substitute in our values, so we've got A is eight squared plus B squared, which is five squared, plus C squared, which is, I'm gonna call it E, G squared. We'll work it out, 64 plus 25, equals eg squared, 89 equals eg squared. Square root both sides to get eg on its own. So the square root of 89 equals eg. So we'll leave it in that format to get higher accuracy in the second part and for our final answer. But to check our answer with our numerical value, it is 9.43981132, etc. And 9.43 meters looks like it's about right. Well, it's longer than eight meters and it's longer than five meters. So actually it must be uh, round about correct because it's not too far off either. Our second part, we can finally look at this pink length here from E to C. So our first step is to draw it out. Right, done our points of the triangle. So we've got E, C and G and our lengths in that we know. So we know CG, if we have a look, we've got CG here. We found out in the last one, it's the same as the side length of DH, BF, and AE. So it must be four meters. And from the previous part we calculated, we worked out that EG is actually root 89. So let's write down Pythagoras' theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Label our sides. So we've got C, I'm going to call this A and this B. Substituting our values. So we've got root. 89 squared plus 4 squared equals CE squared. This will give us, well, root 89 squared equals 89. 4 squared is 16. That's CE squared. 89 plus 16 is 105. Square root both sides to get CE on a side on its own. So the square root of 105 equals CE. We're almost there now. If we enter this into a calculator, we'll have CE equals 10.2469507. But we want the answer to one decimal place. So rounding this, CE equals 10.2 meters to one decimal place. If you want to have a go with two questions yourselves, Check out my next video, which gives you two questions to have a go with, and I'll go through the answer afterwards. Stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next video.